Hello. Hi. Hello. Thank you for doing our, our something session with us. Um, how was it for you, apart from obviously rather warm? <laughs> um, yeah, it was really nice. It was nice to be able to play with the strings, who always make stuff sound loads better than it deserves to. Um, but yeah, no. It Did was... some songs we haven't played for a while. So yeah. I was like, Ooh, how's that one going? <laughs> The, the cover, the mashup that you did of the XX and uh, TLC. What's 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 the story there? What inspired you? To well, do? last year we did a couple of mixtapes, um, just kind of for ourselves and for fun. And we we took songs that we remember from like when we were growing up, and songs from now, and and, uh, and film <coughs> soundtracks and bits of classical music that we like, and quotes from films, and sort of mashed it all together into these two sort of half-hour albums that we made um, that kind of flow completely and. And just it just had had fun with other people's songs, and and I think pop music is 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 kind of nicely flexible, and you can kind of do whatever you want with it, and, and that was just something we wanted to f around with, basically. We change them quite a lot, and they usually on the mixtapes mashups of other songs. It's not like if you take a band that you love and someone just does a replica of the song but not as good, yeah. we've tried to kind of at least use them just as a template to then okay. do something a bit more interesting. Yeah. So I guess that's sort of saved uh, us And from. whenever we do the covers, well, we, we, try, we don't really listen to the originals, we just kind of, we always do them from memory. Um, <laughs> so often get the lyrics horribly wrong, like they're, they're vastly different. Um, but yeah, I mean, so the reason the mixtapes are no longer available online is because someone didn't like our cover. <laughs> <laughs> We just had a day off and I was chatting to some of my friends and they were, we, we played at Glastonbury and I genuinely, genuinely was worried that no one would come or not many people would come and we had a really good crowd and my friends were like, oh man, isn't this like, this modesty thing is getting old, like I'm just, <laughs> it's, it's really boring, shut up. Um, <laughs> like, of course you had a crowd, you've got a number one album. But you, and did, I, you didn't just have a crowd, you had the largest ever crowd for the John Peel tape. I'm, I'm reliably informed, and I'm sure you've heard that as well. Yeah. Um, I mean, that must be, be mind-blowing, surely. Yeah, of course. It's, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, it's totally ridiculous, uh, that, that fact. And, and I kind of, in my kind of cynicism, am inclined to not believe it, because <laughs> how can you quantify that at all? But, um, but you know, it was, it, was, it was insane, it was completely crazy. And, and speaking of Glasson, you're probably the only performer, regardless of the size of the crowd that you pulled, that bought their own ticket. Um, <laughs> yeah. what, why I, else do you have to still do that? Again, I'm like, I'm really, I'm really, uh, I'm really pessimistic and, and um, kind of forecast doom and failure for us the entire time, which is obviously a wonderful thing for the other guys to be around. <laughs> but um, I. I didn't think we'd play Glastonbury and I love it so much and I've been the last five or six years and it wasn't an option for me to not go. So I so I bought my ticket. And luckily they've got this awesome like refund policy. <laughs> not to just because I talk like this and am like this, we still massively enjoy the good stuff that happens to us. And that's the, th you know, that's the thing, I think, because our expectations are relatively low and we're quite, I guess we're quite guarded and cynical, um, it just means that when really nice things happen, like Glastonbury, we're able to like, step back and really enjoy them. Because, you know, I, hand on heart, like, was not expecting that to happen. And when it did, you know, we're completely blown away by it. And I we, think feel, we feel really lucky. And I, I think we maybe enjoy those things even more mm. because you know, I think the, when, when, if, if the time ever comes where you expect a massive crowd to come and see yeah. you, then, you know, where, like, I don't know, where's the fun in that? But also I think our drummer Woody is the ambitious one, but because the rest of us aren't, he has to be quite secretive. <laughs> and yeah. again, he'll let slip, he'll be like, yeah, when we're playing stadiums, I mean, if we ever get to play stadiums, right. but I think in his head, we're there. Final, final question. You've had an amazing 2013 so far. Obviously, this has been the highlight. But uh, if you think a second, what, what, what sort of stands out for you? Got to be Glastonbury. Yeah. I mean, I think it's always, it's always like, it's always shows. Glastonbury was, 
Clash was amazing. It was so more than we ever could have hoped it would have been. Again, another cheesy also, phrase there. Glastonbury, again, incredible cheese, is just one of those things that you, like you've said, like none of us have huge aspirations, but one of the things that I think most musicians want to do if they're in a band is play Glastonbury. And so it's, to take that off is just one of the... And for us and to have had such a sort of... Yeah, and for it to have gone as well as it did. Good just, there, it was wicked. But yeah, I, I think Glastonbury is definitely mm. a highlight for us. Okay, wonderful. Well, hopefully next year you'll get a free ticket as well. I hope <laughs> so. Yeah. I really hope so. If not, I'll, I'll be buying one anyway. Brilliant. <laughs> All right. Well, Dan and Will, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.